The National Reigning Horse Association Derby underway tonight at the fairgrounds. And due to past challenges, one competitor is handling things a little differently. Our Mike Lover explains in tonight's Something Good. Even with some physical challenges, Alexis never understood why that should stop her from doing what she really loves to do. When I was really young, my dad put me on a really young horse. And at two years old, the flame was lit. But there was one problem. At 10 weeks, I had two hands. At 20, I didn't. Um, God said, just kidding. <laughs> it's called amniotic band syndrome. It's where amniotic wrapped around my right hand and cut off circulation, and so I don't have that right hand anymore. Tragic? Well, not for this cowgirl. So a local horse trainer had a bunch of rainers and stuff like that. He let me ride one of his rainers, and that was pretty much it. That was at age 13. When I first started reining, my balance was really <laughs> was really off. But Now at age 20, she's making her mark. So now I rein for um, the University of Tennessee at Martin. I'm on their Division I equestrian team. She's not just competing all over the country. She's winning. And to her, there's simply no disadvantage. It was very, um, very fortunate that I just never, never knew any different. Maybe someone should tell Alexis she isn't supposed to be doing all of this. Oh, I've heard a lot of people tell me that. <laughs> In addition to raining, Alexis also plays basketball and volleyball. To me, if someone says I can't do something, that makes me want to do it even more. Her advice to us who have not reached perfection. Like me, like I ride two-handed a little differently, but I ride two-handed, so... Even if you have to do it a little differently, like, it's okay. Now, of course, we're all cheering for Alexis as the reigning competition ends this weekend at the fairgrounds. Letting no adversity stop you from doing what you really love to do. That is something good. I'm Mike Glover for Oklahoma Zone.